for Facebook to come up. Hello, Facebook. Prophet David Taylor here, and uh, here to talk about our prophetic word for today. I know in Chicago, everybody's watching the Chicago Green Bay game, <laughs> but my regular time is 2.30, so I have to come on and deliver the word of the Lord, all right? So, uh, I'm going to give you a lot of information, as always, so you're going to need to watch this video more than once, okay? So I want you to watch it uh, multiple times and make sure that you get all the information uh, that you're supposed to have. Okay, because normally when a prophetic word is released, there's a lot <clears throat> in that word, and many times you have to listen to it over and over and over again to get everything out of that word that God had for you. Okay, so again, Sunday, December 16th. Hey there, Anna, blessings to you too. Thank you for joining in live. Okay, so again, I'm gonna give you a lot of information, so I need you to watch this video more than once. Okay, so let's start off with a word of prayer. Thank you, God, for this day. Thank you for this time. Ask you to be in the midst of this ministry time, oh God, to uh, speak with me, speak through me, uh, through your spirit, oh God, because we need to hear from you. Oh God, it's listening to you that gives us the victory in life, so we need to hear from heaven, oh God. So use me as a vessel, oh God, that you might be glorified and that the saints might be edified and that the demons might be terrified. I thank you for it and I believe you for it in Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. All right, so let's start with my tagline. What's my tagline? <clears throat> my tagline is, God already told you what was going to happen if you would just listen to his servants, the prophets. Okay? God already told you what was going to happen if you had just listened to his servant, the prophets. All right? So welcome, former welcome to all my audiences, to my Facebook Live audience and to my Periscope audience. And for those of you that are watching this video on YouTube, welcome. Thank you for checking out the broadcast. I want you to please like and share. <clears throat> when you're checking out the video, please like and share it. Share it on your page, share it on other pages, because whenever God releases a prophetic word or a prophetic gift, it's designed to change nations. It's never designed, if you think about it, to stay small. A prophetic word from the Lord is always designed to change nations and change generations. Change the course of your life. Change the course of your family. That's what a prophetic word is for, and it does. So please like and share this video with as many people as you can. Uh, please support my ministry if you want to sow into my ministry. Uh, Matthew 10, 41 said, if, if you receive a prophet, because he is a prophet, then you're going to receive a prophet's reward. So uh, part of that reward is vision, greater and increased vision for your life. So if you want to sow into my ministry, you can sow into my PayPal.me link. That's on Facebook Live and my Periscope profile, also on my Twitter feed. Also, you can donate through Amazon Smile. Uh, PDT NFP is my 501c3 corporation, and that's also tax deductible. Okay? How to find me? Uh, I always hashtag everything I do with hashtag PDT. That stands for Prophet David Taylor. It's always the fastest way to find me online. I'm live now on Facebook and Periscope, 2.30 p.m. Central Standard Time every Sunday afternoon, and then you can watch the replay on either one of those channels Facebook, Periscope, or my Twitter, PDTSOTC, or my YouTube channel, Prophet David Taylor. Okay, I'm also live on Second Thursdays. I just did one with my No More Genies teaching series. That's where I deal with the genie concept of God, and we talk about all the damage that that genie concept has done and seeing God like a genie and how many people that has hurt. So we have to get out of genie concept, and we have to come back to what the Word actually says, and walk in true faith and relationship with God. So I deal with that every second Thursday of the month at 7 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So I just did one, so you can look on either my Periscope or my Facebook Live page to find the, the NMG, No More Genies videos, and also it's on a playlist on YouTube, okay? All right, so let's jump into our prophetic word for today. <clears throat> and the word for today is stability. The prophetic word for today is stability. Let's look at our scripture reference. Our scripture reference is 2 Kings 21.8. Now, Kings is in the Old Testament, okay? Kings is one of the historical books of the nation of Israel where they talked about what the different kings of Israel were like and what their reigns were like, what their regimes were like, and what happened to the nation 
when certain people were on the throne. Okay? So this is the second book of the king, 2 Kings, chapter 21, verse 8. And I'm reading out of the, the Berean Study Bible. It says, <clears throat> I will never again cause the feet of the Israelites to wander from the land I gave their fathers. If only they are careful to do all I have commanded them, the whole law that my servant Moses commanded them. Wow. Okay, so what was it that the Spirit of God wanted me to convey today? For those of you that are coming into your promises, for those of you that are coming into your promised land, you are going to finally enter into a period of stability. Now, some of y'all have been wandering. You've been wandering through the wilderness, sometimes for decades, and some of you have wilderness fatigue. Some of you have been in the wilderness for so long, you don't know any other life. I stop by to tell you that God never meant for you to live your life wandering through the wilderness. God never meant for you to go from person to person to person, from bed to bed to bed, or marriage to marriage to marriage. God never meant for you to, to move, you know, every two years. You know, even someone that's a, an evangelist or a missionary has ports of rest, have places where they can, you know, hunker down and stay there for a while. Okay? God never meant for you to be up and down financially, up and down, up and down, up and down, paycheck to paycheck, or <clears throat> one year you have a really good year, next year is really bad, and you got to keep changing your lifestyle, or you can't live your dream, you don't have enough money to do what you were supposed to do, that kind of thing. God never meant for you to spend your life wandering, wandering, okay? God meant for you to come into the promised land. The promised land is not talking about heaven. It's talking about the life that God has for you on earth, the victorious life, where you're living in the will of God, where you're fruitful, where you're multiplying, where you're taking ground, where you're living your dream <clears throat> under the authority of Jesus Christ, excuse me, <clears throat> under the authority of Jesus Christ, under the commandments of God, okay? And one of the benefits of coming into that promised land is stability, okay? That's one of the benefits, is being stable, finally being stable. Now, let me hasten to say that some of y'all have never been stable, so being stable is going to be a mental and emotional adjustment for you, okay? It's going to be a mental and emotional adjustment adjust because you thought that the blessings of God just happen on their own. That's why I deal with genie concepts so much on second Thursday nights. They don't happen on their own. Everything that God has for you in this life requires you to grow. If you want more money, you are going to have to grow in your knowledge about finances. If you want a good marriage, you are going to have to learn more about how marriage works. If you want good children, you are going to have to learn how to be a good parent. Okay? If you want a good But if, uh, there we go. Okay, we're back. So if you have never, you know, been stable or whatever, God is going to require you to grow. So you have to make the mental and emotional adjustment to be become stable in here first. You have to learn the ways of stability. And a lot of people just have not moved forward with God because they refuse to change and grow. You have to change, you have to grow. That comes along with following God. If you just want to stay the way you are, then don't even make an attempt to follow the Lord's plan for your life. If you want to follow Jesus' plan for your life, you are going to have to change and grow. So for those of you that are just now coming into some stability, maybe for the first time in your life, maybe you're in your 40s or 50s or 60s or 70s, in the Bible, when Joshua and Caleb finally made it to the promised land, they were in their 80s. In the Bible, when Moses finally became the deliverer and the leader he was supposed to be, he was in his 80s and 90s. In the Bible, when Abraham finally had Isaac, he was 100 years old. So it doesn't have to happen that way for you, but in case it does, in case it takes you a long time to get stable, when you finally come into it, you're going to have to adjust up here 
and learn how to be stable. Very important. <clears throat> Very important. So the scripture says, now here's a promise of God. Whenever you hear God say something, I will. That's a promise. I will never again cause the feet of the Israelites to wander from the land I gave their fathers. Again, I will never again, never again. That means that once you enter into your promised land, you never have to leave. Now, we're going to show later about what can happen, but you never have to leave. You understand that? Once God brings you to the place where you're living your dream, where you're in that place you always wanted to be, you never have to leave. You never have to leave again. Okay? You never have to leave again. You never have to leave again. You never have to leave again. I just want that to soak in. Because if you've been wandering and if you've been unstable and you've been in and out and up and down and back and forth your whole life, that's maybe the first time in your life you ever heard anything like that. So I want to say it again. You never have to leave again. You never have to leave again, okay? God says, I will never again cause the feet of the Israelites to wander from the land I gave their father. It's yours. That land is yours. That possession, that inheritance, living your dream, what does that look like to you personally? Building a business, building a career, building a family, building an investment portfolio, building a ministry, okay? Building a not-for-profit, whatever it is that you want it. Once God brings you into that land, you never have to leave again. Okay? <clears throat> then it says, I will never again cause the feet of the Israelites to wander from the land I gave the fathers, if only they are careful to do all I have commanded them. Oh, now, that's very important. If you want to stay in the land once you enter... accept Jesus as Savior. You have to accept Jesus as Lord. Let me say it one more time. You cannot just accept Jesus as Savior. You have to also accept Jesus as Lord. Okay? You have to do what the Lord says do. So all of the time wandering through the wilderness, the Lord was trying to train you. He was trying to teach you. He was trying to get you to be obedient. He was trying to get you to have faith in him. He was trying to teach you how to listen to his voice. He was trying to teach Because the word of the Lord to you today, if you've been obedient, you've been following God along, the word of the Lord to you today is stability. You will finally be able to be stable. One more time. You will finally be able to be stable. Now, that looks different for different people. <clears throat> for you, that might be a relationship. For you, that might be finances. For you, that might be your living space. For you, that might be leaving a job and starting a business, and that business can finally take care of you on its own.
For you, that might be finally coming to a church where you are accepted. I remember when I first came. me to pray for please put them on the screen right now let me see your prayer requests you don't have any prayer requests let me see if there is any uh, physical healing that needs to be released holy ghost is saying somebody has pain in their left shoulder if you've got pain in your left shoulder do this take your right hand Put it on your left shoulder and say, in the name of Jesus, I command my shoulder to be every whit whole. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, by his stripes I am healed. All right, let me see if there's any unclean spirits that need to be cast out. Ooh, okay. Holy Ghost is saying that there's unbelief. Sometimes demons are causing unbelief, but sometimes it's stubbornness and hardness of heart. So in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every spirit of unbelief that's been in your ear and on your head and trying to get in you to turn you away from God. But also, once we break the demon off of you, you have got to believe. Some of you, God bless you, Victoria, God bless you. Some of you have been fighting God and resisting God because you just don't believe he's trying to lead you to a better life. That's your unbelief, okay? You've got to repent. There was a call that went out this morning through prophetess Michelle McLean Walters for repentance, Walters, for repentance, okay? What God was telling us to repent means to change your mind. So God is calling us to let go of our old thoughts and to adopt his thoughts. And there's no way you're going to be able to enter into your personal promised land if you don't change your mind. delay okay because he's calling you to a life that's better than the one you have now okay okay let me see if there's any more words the spirit of god wants me to release yes an impartation so in the name of jesus i impart to you the spirit of stability i release an anointing for stability in your life right now in the name of jesus 
Where you have been broken, you will be whole. Where you have been wandering, you will be stable. Where you've been up and down, back and forth, you will now be fixed and firm. In the name of Jesus, I release. to put some roots down you're gonna you're gonna get rooted in the ground like have you seen the way really tall trees have you seen how they grab the ground they have those big old tree trunks big knots of tree trunks that they reach down into the ground and latch on that's what your life is about to be by about to be like it's going to be stable you're going to reach into the ground and latch on that means that when the cold comes and the wind comes and the heat comes and a different season change, just like trees root themselves in the ground, you're going to be rooted in your promised land. You're going to be stable. And some of y'all, that's for the first time in your life. locator words okay prophetic locator words and so at the end of every year you need to get a locator word from the Lord to find out where are you in the spirit where are you in relationship to Jesus Christ your head is your life lined up the way the Lord wants it to be lined up you need to get at least one locator word at the end of every year because you need to know what your grades are you need to ask the Lord what your grades are because you need to know did you accomplish in this year what the Lord wanted you to accomplish? And if you didn't, then you need to make sure to get it done to see if you get another chance. So that's called a prophetic locator word where you find out, am I lined up with Jesus Christ? to fix it why would you wait until after you die only to find out you have no more chances left to fix your mistakes see what i mean that's what revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3 are about so i would recommend that you read the book of revelation that's the last book in the bible the book of revelation i would recommend that you read chapter 2 and chapter 3 this week to prepare yourself for the prophetic locator word because that's about the lord giving out grades that's where the Lord uh, says that in the Bible. The book of Revelation, last book in the Bible, chapter 2 and chapter 3, is the Lord giving grades to the church. And every time he gives a set of grades, he ends it by saying, He that hath an ear, let him hear what
I personally am not living. Okay? So, I mean, I just want you to know that. Because sometimes, you know, spiritual leaders, you know, sometimes they say one thing and do another. Or sometimes they have one standard that they preach, another standard that they live. But I always want my audience to know anything I'm telling you, I'm doing it. <laughs> okay? So, I asked the Lord for my grades this morning. Okay? And he showed me. So, that's what I mean when I say you want to get your grades from Jesus at the end of every year at the least. So that you time he's already in 2019 did you know that the lord has already lived 2019 2019 is already done in the eyes of jesus did you know that the lord has already lived 2019 the lord has already lived january through december of 2019 2019 is already done did you know that so at the beginning of the year you need a prophetic located word so that the lord can tell you this is what i want you to do for this year because God has a plan for your life every quarter, every month, every week, and every day. So why would you... I pray my closing prayer is sign up for my email list. There's a button on my Facebook Live page where you can click on that button and sign up for my list. Sign up on my uh, email list because there is no spam on my email list. I hate spam, so I don't send spam to people. But when something new is dropping, I'm doing a lot of new things.